Okay, um, I got my oven all built and I'm uh, ready to uh, do my vacuum laminating. Uh, I don't know whether I'll get around to it today or not, but uh, anyway, I thought I'd show you what I've got uh, set up. I don't know if I showed you this before. This is, uh, this is my solar panel uh, that I'm building, my layers of uh, EVA plastic, and then on top of it I put this blanket. Um, I'm going to run the vacuum tube in between here and uh, then I'm going to seal the, the hose around this, this bag. This is just a garbage bag, 50 gallon garbage bag. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that'll be that set up. Uh, here's my oven that I've got built. Um, hopefully this works out. I, I Basically, I built this uh, square frame out of uh, out of uh, the styrofoam insulation stuff. Uh, the heat gun comes through the bottom. You can see it there. That's what I'm going to heat this with. Uh, that's just a shield because I don't want all that heat to go right up and hit the, the directly on that uh, solar panel. It'll get a really hot spot and melt the plastic and cause problems. Um, I don't know whether or not this heat shield is going to hold up. I tried using a a piece of uh, this styrofoam stuff. I found out, and I'll show you this, found out that it's not uh, it's not very heat resistant. Melted a hole right through it. Uh, this isn't this isn't like a tin foil, it's a plastic and so it melts melts pretty easily. Uh, so so I put uh, some uh, some tape, some of the tin foil tape stuff, uh, the same stuff I taped this box up with. Um, Anyway, I put some of that on there. Basically, I made this box the exact size of my solar panel, and I'm just gonna set that on top of here. Uh, in fact, the outside of this, the outside of this is actually the, the exact size of my piece of glass. And so it's just gonna set on that little frame. Um, and I'm gonna put it in there, uh, turn the heat gun up. Uh, now I got a thermometer in here. Uh, there, see, it, it obviously doesn't read down this cold, but uh, it just comes in, just poked it through there. It's a meat thermometer. Um, I'm just going to try to maintain the temperature uh, about 100 degrees Celsius, uh, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Try to maintain that for about an hour or so. Um, I'm not going to pull a vacuum until I get it fairly warm. I want to warm that panel up before I suck the vacuum down. Uh, get that uh, the EVA a little bit soft. Right now it's pretty cold in here, uh, and so uh, I'll do that. Pull the vacuum and see how it works. Um, don't know if I'm going to do that today. Uh, probably not. Uh, if I do, I'll uh, or when I do, I'll do another video. Uh, talk to you later. Okay. Well, I decided to run it today. I got the vacuum all pulled. It looks like it's doing pretty good. Um, our gauge is reading about, I don't know if you can read that, but about uh, negative 20 um, inches of mercury. That's what that's in. Um, here's our temperature. I've, I keep having to turn that on and off because it gets, gets too hot. I don't know if you can read that, but it's about 200 right now. Um, I uh, I've been I just barely got it up to to two 212 or so. Uh, that's the temperature I want to maintain it at. Um, I, I was having problems with my vacuum, and so really I didn't get up to. I just barely pulled the vacuum on it just now. Uh, it was pretty warm at the time, so hopefully that'll work. Uh, actually, everything seems to be working really well. This little heat gun. Uh, heated this up pretty quick. Um, I just have to keep the, turning it on and off to maintain the temperature. Um, anyway, that's the video for now. I'll uh, I'll do another one when I'm done, and uh, and you can see how it works. Okay, I finished it up. I don't think I left it in the oven long enough. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but it's a little bit, uh, it's not real clear. There's a 
Well, it's pretty clear, but not as clear as it should be. Um, got it up, hooked up to a, to my little gauge here. Putting out 40 watts. Uh, not great. However, uh, I have a 60 watt uh, on my pump house that I had plugged into this a second ago, and it was only producing about uh, about 38 watts. So this is actually making more than my 60 watt uh, panel that I that I bought, uh, you know, manufactured. So so I guess that's not too bad. Uh, I was hoping for a little bit more, um, but I think if I I think if I would have heated it up a little bit longer, um, it would have uh, would have worked better. Uh, I think I need to work on that a little more. Also, uh, take a look at this uh, after I pulled it apart. Uh, the heat, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, um, yeah, it, uh, if you can see there, it burned the holes right through the, right through the bottom there. Um, the heat came up and hit the top and then reflected down and it melted, it melted all this apart. Um, can't really see it, but there's no, there's no uh, styrofoam in between there anymore. It's just the, it's all that's left is the aluminum tape. Uh, there, we can look at the bottom. Yeah, there you can see the bottom. You know, it melted holes through. Um, so, yeah, needs to be some more work there. Uh, also need to get it a little bit hotter, I think, or maybe longer time. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, solar panel worked fairly decent, uh, could have been better, uh, some work to do, we'll talk to you later.